Hello there, my name is Mr. Smartonkey. Welcome to Susavao and my co-op Let's Play on Rome 2 Total War. I'm playing with Nervi and Susavao is playing. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you can... I'm playing with the Swebby. <laughs> yes, right. So uh, we wanted to play remotely close towards each other and uh, having both barbarian factions seems like it's going to be pretty interesting to me. Yeah, we, we thought about going with the Nomads a, a lot, but uh, we actually thought uh, it would be kind of kind of bad for you viewers because it would only be horse archers and, uh, and horse cavalry, and that's, yeah, that's exactly. really... Uh, not even like a, seat, uh, 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 a chariot or elephants, you know? Yeah, they, they're they really limited in the options that they have. It's pretty yeah. bad. Yeah, um, also because of the... Um, because of the eternal desyncs that we are currently having on, on Rome 2, uh, we decided to go on very hard instead of legendary. Yep. Just because uh, we can always, you know, save at the end of the episode, and if um, if uh, throughout the next episode something happens, we can always go back, and it's much better to at least try to keep the, the campaign going. Yeah, exactly. I also want to mention, uh, I assume you will do the same thing. I'll have a link to your channel in the description of my yeah, video. Yeah. yeah, the same thing. Cool. And yeah. uh, obviously we're both recording this, so if you want to watch... Uh, well, if you want to watch his perspective, go to his channel. If you want to watch my perspective, go to my channel. Yeah, ditto. Same so. thing. So, how is your take on the game? Uh, besides, you know, of course, the, the game started uh, on, on September. It was a, a major flop. <laughs> yeah. But right now, I'm actually liking the at least on the campaign, AI. It's much much better. I really noticed. The yeah, difference. I um, it, it's weird. Like when I first started the, playing the game, I really didn't uh, notice all the all the things that were wrong with it. Like a lot of people had frame rate issues and things. I didn't really have any issues. Uh, the gameplay itself, yeah, that was obviously AI has always been quite bad in Total War, so that yeah. really didn't I really didn't notice it. One thing I did notice was, uh, which is actually still sort of the same, but I guess that's basically how they designed the game, is that there's barely any field battles. Usually, every battle seems to be in uh, like a siege defense or a siege attack, in my, yeah. in, from what I've noticed so far, which I don't like too much. But um, yeah. I don't know, I, I didn't have too many problems with it, but then the more I started playing, the more things started to get on my nerves. And then um, after a while, I just got a little bit tired of it i guess and i uh, i didn't yeah. play as much anymore but lately I've, I've been enjoying it again it's uh it's it's a good it's an all right game let's put it that way yeah i'm i'm almost to the point i actually all my the campaigns that i'm having um i'm actually to the point where i want to start checking out mods and the the mod the 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 mod uh, doers the, the guys who make the mods they're I, I gotta say they're one of the best or or Kind of like that we have the, almost the best community in terms of mods. Just think about the amount of mods. I was actually reading a post today on, on the forums and I couldn't agree more because just think about the amount of mods that we have on a game that is has just three months. Yeah, you know? indeed. And but a lot Total of War modders have always been pretty impressive that yeah. way. Especially Third Age. Did you uh, play Third Age? No, I, I actually never got around to playing Medieval 2. Oh. I um, I played Rome, but only a little bit. I was quite young at the time, so I didn't understand a lot of it. And then um, Medieval 2 came out, and I really I, I, I knew about it. Like I saw it quite often, but I just I wasn't really into Total War back then. Then I got into it with... Or I, I bought Empire, which I didn't like too much. But then Shogun 2, I played, I think, like 300 hours of or something. And then Rome 2, obviously, I wanted to get into as well. Yeah, for me, Medieval Two is actually the best. You even though it's an old game, just get a an old, uh, you know, an old um, uh, one of these uh, special, um, how to say, campaigns on Steam and such that you yeah. get a benefit on the the. Oh, I'm lacking. I'm I'm really messing around my English today. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'm talking like uh, I seem from England. And some days I'm just like, whoa, where did this guy come from? <laughs> you know? I've got the same thing, yeah. Yeah, but um, do get it, and especially try to play uh, Third Age and Third Age Moss, because they're really awesome mods, actually. I was in love as soon as I, I checked the, the mods. I didn't know about it at... About only a, a year ago did I check the, that mod, and I'm just uh, falling in love completely with it. Right, it's yeah. Really cool. I oh, yeah, I did see you uh, let's playing. Uh, I think you're let's playing medieval two things as well, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Isengard and Orcs of Gundabad. Oh yeah, Isengard. Yeah, that's what yeah. I saw. Right. 
Uh, I want to quickly go over my um, uh, bonuses and debuffs, I guess, for being the Nervi, which is, by the way, a Belgian clan. What's One of the reasons I wanted to play them is because they're obviously right next to the Netherlands, uh, mm -hmm. where I'm from. But yeah, their yep. um, the bonus from being a Gallic tribes is we get plus one experience rank for our Gallic cavalry units, and we get plus one public order for every war against a neighboring faction. And a bonus for being the Nervi is uh, plus ten percent morale for all units during battles in own or allied territory, which is pretty good. Uh, plus ten percent chance of successfully launching an ambush, and minus ten percent wealth from all industrial and commerce buildings. Oh, that's nice. There you go. Yeah, it's not nice. bad. Yeah, uh, actually, anyway, I, my I don't... my turn is done, so I'm gonna let you uh, do yours. Yeah. I can't remember mine. Oh, I do have plus one. I have the Warrior Society as well, and Marauders. I have the twenty percent income from raiding and sacking. I actually. Oh. I always there's one thing that I've uh, seen some players uh, try to do, and I'm gonna uh, check it out a little bit, just because there there's been one guy who said, oh you know with the Swaby you can just make one army raid everything that you can, and if it gets destroyed, you can re-raise it again, you know at your capital with n almost no costs because it's just a new general and the traditions are there. So you right. can actually gain a lot of experience and just keep raiding, 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 you know? Yeah. That sounds like I would try to do that idea with, uh, you know, I I would even get one army to be that uh, raiding stuff. Um, but probably only after I get, like, my first, uh, my first uh, province, I mean. Yeah. Yours, I didn't comment, but yours has one of the best resources, which is glassware. That speed ups research really well. Oh, I didn't know that actually. I don't like where do you where do you see the bonuses for your um uh like oh that, resources? That's, yeah, that's because of my uh, the when yeah, I don't know if you know about it, but I actually did a building planner. It's on the Total War forums actually. Right. And the the thing that it does, it actually increases your um uh, your idea of how how the buildings work, and the provinces are the the, the full deal you know for instance if you have a if you check a province like Italia it's well known you have wine and you have olive oil there you know so yeah. that's because of the way that you upgrade your uh, your uh, town center you know the the first tile yeah it gives a different bonus and it's sometimes it's just something like it doesn't cost food but if it doesn't cost food you can upgrade it to level four without having that extra trouble with that food, you know? Right. So that province should be, a, it's, it's a good idea to make it a food province. And there are others who actually uh, manage to be quite well. I, I actually prefer the three to two settlement provinces. I'm just going to upgrade a few stuff here. Uh, so stuff. so uh, a province with glassware, what would you make the, it? I would make it actually, um, glassware is actually industry, right? It gives you, yeah. you can hover over and it gives you industry. So I would make it both an industry and a research, uh, like kind of a research facility, let's call it. All right. Yeah, that's one thing that I... Uh, I'm learning honestly. things all over because I had no idea about all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, I actually spent quite a lot of time uh, doing that, you know, in, in checking that out. Um, but it's it was worth it. Yeah, completely worth it. I actually, uh, I, I completely skipped two things as I skipped my turnover. I forgot to check if I had any trade that I could initiate, and I also didn't notice I had a second army in the, in the south there. Oh. I just completely missed the army. <laughs> Not yep. really a big deal, but... Yeah, I do have two armies. Uh, one thing is that I can't join them. I don't know if it's only on Legendary or something. Let me check. Oh yeah, it's only on Legendary. Only on Legendary that you can switch units between the armies, you know? Really? Really? No, I'm actually have the the screen now for unit exchange. Because it seems like there's someone, there was someone who made uh, a post about it, like it was uh, caused just because it was uh, um, easy to to uh, manipulate in terms of having uh, some some issues with it. You know? Right. They, they could uh, get an exploit. That's the idea. Right. So, I'm moving my spy and checking out if Kasuji's has anything. Or, yeah, let me check if I can sabotage. Poisoned wells. Yes, yeah, successful. So, Kasuji's actually has nothing. 
some Celtic tribesmen and such. Yeah. The Doom of Men. What the yeah. army is called. Yeah, I always loved those names, actually. <laughs> yeah. So I'm actually just going to merge my troops. Yeah. Everything there. And this guy's gonna go back to look for them. Look for them. <laughs> and keep recruiting some stuff. Or actually, this guy's gonna recruit club levies, lots of spear levies, and Germanic youths. Oh. I can actually recruit something like. Yeah. Good. I'm not gonna spend too much money for now. I don't know how much I'm winning. Well, 2,000. That's good. Um, yeah, I'm getting into the diplomacy. Probably I can get a, a treaty with you if I don't have one. No, we already we can't trade actually. Oh route. yeah, it's because we're not right next to each other, I guess. Yeah, and we don't have a sea route. Uh, the trade only works at sea, actually. It's kind, kind of messy. Hmm. Uh, oh, I can't even ask trade agreement. Oh, I can. Moderate. They rejected it. I don't know, but as there are some guys who actually hated me, but they are between us, so that's that's not any trouble at all. Right. And the guys who like me are the guys that I want to kill, so... Kind of bad. Let me end up the turn. Oh, assign skill. Sorry I was taking so long because it's just the start and... Yeah, you're just explaining things, that's fine. Yeah. By the way, the, the way that the character skills are working now, do you have you seen the the skill trees actually? Uh no, not the like not the entire skill trees now. Okay, it's just the basic stuff. The the best ideas for for instance for a spy is to go for a poisoner, you know, and just uh, upgrade cunning. Uh, for a right. um, for a champion, yeah, right. For a zeal. champion, go for zeal, yeah, and, and for the, uh, yeah. the other one, the forty, and, yeah. And for the generals, I actually like. I've started doing that on my let's plays, which I'm going with um, with zeal, because there's one that gives me public order for for whenever a general is on the on the city. Which right. Is actually, quite helpful. I usually go for zeal as well. Yeah. You know, the right. best the best abilities are actually on the authority, you know, the battle abilities. But I really like that one for 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 the public order. Right. Uh let's see. I need to do my uh can I actually trade with anyone? Yes, but these guys don't like me, so that's probably not gonna happen. But they don't like me very much. Uh I I don't like that no one ever wants to trade with me. I'm such a nice guy, and they're like, no, nah, not having it. Yeah. Alright, well, that's not happening. Uh, I think my first target is going to be the Fizontio, Fes or at least yeah. the province Fizontio, because yeah. uh, it's part of my, my province, so I think that'll yeah. be my best... Uh... Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Um, it's it's kind of oh. odd, this, this idea of this province, you know? I always get confused here. Yeah, it's a very confusing area, isn't it? Because, I yeah. mean, there's the Trevorium, like, right in between us, but it's not part of the same province. Yeah. It's, uh, it's annoying, because it means I have to get quite far out of my own territory to be able to get there. Yep. Uh, anyway, I'm going to mix up these armies and make one big one. Like you did. Yep. Uh, actually, I need to check out which is the better general. Just so I know oh, I actually I didn't check that. Uh, this guy's 40, this guy's 22, and he has Peace, which is pretty good. And this guy's Harmony, which is also pretty good, but this guy's 40, so I think I'll take the... Well, he has free Ambition, though, the only one knows I have two, but... Um... No, I'll take uh, I'll take the, the 22-year-old. That is Cercidus, right. Which one is leading Cercidus? That's this guy, alright. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, um, that, there's a good name for a general, Ayu. Ayu? No, Ayu, yeah, no trouble at all, Ayu. A-I-O. <laughs> okay. It's much better for a name. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna make one of you... Uh, one Celtic Slinger, or Celtic Slinger, my bad. Uh, and a Celtic Youth. Oh my what god, you... I, I've made so many mistakes with that. 
Yeah, I, I yeah. don't know. I always think it's Celtic for some reason. I, I guess because there's a football club that's actually called Celtic nowadays. But yeah, but the in Portugal the C is actually read uh, C and not uh, K. You know. Oh, so, we it so depends on the, the word here in the Netherlands. Yeah. We have uh, different ones. Oh. Like well, yeah, my my name for example is Mark, which is uh, it's with a C, but you pronounce it as a K. Ah, okay, okay. But um, there's other things that are a C that are pronounced as an S. Oh, so we might. Uh, I think we have kind of the same idea, but uh, on Portuguese, the, the 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 rule is kind of different. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna bring my spy down to uh, Fasonci as well. When we encounter a faction, the Marco Mani. Marco Mani, do you want to trade? Uh, no, you can't trade with me. Well, too bad for you, because I've got glassware, and it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, right, I think that's going to be that for me. Yeah. I don't want to miss anything again, because I, I hate missing things in a Total War game, because they can be deadly. Yeah. What, what do you think so far of the Legendary mode on this game? I feel it's quite easy compared to Legendary on, on um, Shogun 2. Yeah, I think the the biggest trouble uh, that I find on the legendary is that you don't feel it's difficult because you know because it's hard to do you know because it's hard to win. I feel it's difficult just because it's uh, time consuming. That, that's the yeah, only thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Know? Same. It yeah. feels just time consuming instead of actually quite hard to do. You know, I just on my Rome campaign, all that's happening is people constantly sabotaging all my buildings or. They have like several smaller armies that go around taking my provinces, and I like to work with big armies, so I have to go cat and mouse, play cat and mouse with them, basically chasing them down, taking my own provinces back, etc. Which is not a—it's not difficult though. It's just, yeah, it's very much time consuming, it's consuming as you say. Yeah, especially when when the AI starts to just uh, snipe your smaller settlements, you know, the ones that you can't guard yeah, because exactly. you can't have any armies there, and the garrison is so small. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and that that's just one of the things, you know, you could... I, I think one idea that missed them was that you could have something like a smaller type army. You know, like, uh, this type of army can only have 10 units. But at least you can choose them uh, in yeah. a better way. And that would cause the AI to... Or at least the, the smallest type of army that can leave a settlement is uh, a 10 uh, uh, unit army or something like that. That yeah. would make the mechanic because they were trying to make the AI build less one uh, unit stacks. You know, that's the the main idea for this idea for uh, um, for uh, limited uh, armies. But it didn't work out as they planned. It didn't it didn't do what they wanted actually. Yeah. Okay, I'm actually gonna attack the boy. Yeah, see, and even on the battle deployment, I have like. A huge advantage in terms of um, of army, but what I actually want to do is I'm going to instead of assault, I'm just going to continue the siege because it's two turns, and I want to draw their army uh, in. Yeah, I always prefer doing field battles like that yeah. as well, even if it takes, uh, if it, even if it means taking some attrition. Yeah. I don't. Uh, the attrition is one good thing on this on the the game. Actually, it works kind of as intended. It could be, um, it, it can be uh, um, uh, changed, you know, according to to a good balance. I yeah. think it would need uh, some balance. It, it sometimes it's way too fast. Oh, okay, and they are actually oh, attacking nice. me. Very good. surprising. Yeah, they actually didn't bring anything, so kind of bad on that idea. But I'm gonna play it. Yeah, All just right. so we can have a small battle here. Yeah, I always like having the first battle as well. And yeah. like usually these battles I would just auto resolve, but the first battle is always nice to to have in the game. Yeah. So they didn't have any armies then. It's just uh do they have yeah. like a different province somewhere as well? A different they, region. They do. They have this full province actually. Oh yeah, they yeah, cuz these are one of the playable uh, factions. Yeah. All right. You've got hill advantage too, so that's nice. Yep. I'm gonna give you a few units just so you can uh, uh, play around as well. Thanks. Yeah, I used to do that with um, on my campaign with uh, Blue Ankylo on Shogun. Right. And sometimes it was it was just brutal to 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 see you know because I can't possibly micromanage 40 units at a time. Yeah, exactly. I uh, I always yeah. do it as well. Oh rain. Oh rain. 
Rain is actually quite bad for FPS. Yeah, for it is. For frames. Are you having any troubles with it? No, mine mine is fine, but it's uh, it's not great. It could be better. Yeah, yeah. But I'm running fairly steady right now. Yeah. So I'm gonna give you. I uh, I had that in Shogun 2 with my co partner as well, my other one, um, where I was playing the Takeda, for example. So I had a, a horse faction, and I basically just trained horses, and that my entire army consisted of horsemen. And then I would um, I would just give him like half the horse army and I half the horse army would just be flanking like the entire yeah. battle basically. Or would you like me to set up? Uh, whatever you want. I'm going to to be probably I'm going to be the anvil and if you want you can be the hammer. You know. I'll just, yep, that sounds uh, good. Hang on there, charge and. Uh, I actually don't know the units quite well, but I can imagine the spear units will be the best for for that idea. From what I can see, the uh, the spear levy are basically a complete upgrade over the club levy, except they have two less melee attack. Besides that, everything is better. Oh yeah, nice notice. I actually yeah. don't like my uh, heavy spear, you know, my uh, general, but uh, I can't change it or something yet. If you want, I can give you the spear levy back, and I'll just take some like club levy and just oh, uh, right. flank around. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Can have like a two front battle. You ready? Uh, one sec. All right. Okay. All right. Where are they at? There they are. Few oh yeah, it's a small army, isn't it? I forgot yeah, about yeah. that. I uh, I'll quickly try and set up uh, yeah. right over here in this little uh, forested area. Yeah. That's nice. My Celtic skirmishers were actually not Celtic or Germanic Celtic. actually. Oh, and I'm not Celtic actually. I'm Germanic. Oh yeah, you're Germanic youths. Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably t uh, say that I'm playing Arverni uh, a lot. It's been 50 episodes, so. <laughs> oh, they seem to be coming towards my part of the army. Oh, that's, that's fine. Cause they're just, yeah, I'm just gonna go more door downhill towards uh, me. That's interesting, actually. The, in terms of the battle, I actually like when they have so many numbers, you know, like melee attack, weapon damage, charge bonus, all of that oh, yeah, stuff. Oh yeah, definitely. Just because mods can actually change that, you know, and balance it out much better. Yeah, I think exactly. that's, that's a hidden bonus to mods, you know, because modders can just uh, uh, play around with the with that those numbers and, and make it much better. Yeah. Indeed. Even they, of course. Of course they can. Oh, they got their uh, skirmishers shooting at me. Okay, he is actually going against you. But yeah. The club, yeah. And also engage. Oh, I got shield wall. I think I might be using that. Yeah, I'm gonna send everyone in. If you do. Uh, if you would only do me a favor, if you see any unit going in the red, just take it away. Yeah, sure. That's what I always do as well. Yeah. Well, apparently I'm losing here for some oh, reason. Oh, it's, it's the general. The presence of their general there. Ah. But it, it should not matter. Because I can actually go and attack you now. Yeah, I'm about to attack them in the sides as well, so they will be uh, shattering pretty early on here. Yeah. Hmm, my general is under attack by some skirmishers. Yeah, doesn't matter. Okay, time for some close-ups. That's actually something that I can't do while playing most of the time. I can. Although the only problem is that the audio is very loud when it's zoomed in, and then I can barely hear you anymore. Ah. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Besides that, it's fine. Okay, and the battle. All right. Yeah, I lost a few units, but I got thrown rock sat. Yeah. My pretty, man didn't like. Pretty cool. No, just good to to actually. Uh, I I learned one thing I didn't know. The club levy actually have the frenzy ability. 
So that's yeah, I just noticed kinda that, useful. Yeah. Okay. What does it actually do? Frenzy makes them uh, their uh, attack go a bit higher for a few moments. I don't I don't recall if it's just um, if the negative effects it's just um, fatigue or if it actually does something else. That's what right. I recall. But you can just hover over the um, the ability that we'll say. Yeah, yeah, I know. But uh, I thought maybe from the top of your head you would know. Yeah. No, my I, I, just, screen, I just for know some it's reason, better for... My loading screen always takes forever after a battle. I'm not sure why it is. Like, other loading screens are usually fine, but after battles they take forever. Uh, this is an okay. FYI. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. So, the biggest problem with this baby, I think, is that you start by going to in the opposite direction that I actually want to go. Because I want to conquer my initial province. But right. uh, if you actually ignore it, uh, I've seen some people say that if you ignore the the boy, they'll actually grow quite well. Yeah, they because they start off quite big, so I assume they just uh, evolve on yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. I'm actually si still watching the animation. Yeah, same. It's in slow motion for me. Okay, I'm killing the captives. I used to enslave a lot, but uh, I, after having so much uh, troubles with the with the slave rebellions and such, I'm just not uh, enslaving almost anymore. You know. Yeah, I, I usually free them, but I um I haven't decided yet. Lately, I've been enslaving them as well. I'm not sure what to do anymore. Yeah. All right, so. Uh... Some research complete, so I'm going to set up something different. I'm not sure what I want to go for first. Um, I guess I could possibly go for a stable, since we have extra experience for uh, horse units. That might be a good thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, I also like going for some economy early on. Either take up to a unit or to a building. That's usually what I say. Right. Um, let's see. Well, I want to get the building that makes me able to make, uh... Actually, I think I'm going to go for... Wait, was th does this give me siege equipment? The woodworker? Because uh, I want to get some siege equipment. Uh, the woodworker... I think it's not. I think it's the bronze stuff. The After the artisan's lodging, right? You can get the uh, bronze workshop or something like that. If it works like the Arverni. Let's see. Ah, oh, the Bronze Forge, is that it? Yeah, let me check. I'm actually checking the encyclopedia now. For the... you are the... Nervi. Nervi. Yeah. Uh, so you get industrial... Oh yeah. The Celtic Scorpion is what I can make with the Bronze... Uh, Workshop, bronze. yeah. Yeah. Right, well, uh, or Bronze Forge even. Oh, that's good. Bronze workshop. Oh, what does the bronze workshop give me then? That gives me. Oh, wow, that gives me three units: the naked spears, the Celtic warriors, and the spear bearers. Oh, that's. Oh nice. wait, hold on. Uh, yeah. It does. No, that that's... could be just local garrison. Isn't Let me it? check. Uh. No, it doesn't. It enables them. Oh. Uh, it gives me local garrison of the same ones as well, actually. But yeah, it enables the buildings of them as well, apparently. Oh, that's that's cool. Alright, well in that case, I think I'll be going for that. Uh, so, and it also gives me ammunition and upkeep costs, reducements, that's cool. Yeah. Alright, let's do that. Uh, quartermaster report, made some men, construction report, made enclosed land. Whoop whoop. Alright, my camera is all turned around for some reason. Oh, you can use the Q and E? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um... Because o only on the prologue do you actually get those keys and you have to use them. Yeah, yeah I, I did actually, uh, I did play the prologue. Actually, let's yeah. play it as well. Oh. Alright, let's have a look at what the uh, Sancho have. I actually have a bit of an army there. Yeah. The mercenaries as well. So long as you can sabotage them, I, I think you'll be fine. Oh, and they're actually recruit recruiting, right? 13 out of 20. So they are recruiting more. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, we'll not be able to take that down just that easily. Yeah. If they he actually moves away... That will be much better for you. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I think I'll just keep building on my army for now. 
want some Celtic youths. Actually, I'll have three of those. And then, yeah, that looks pretty good. I think I'll make two more Levy Freeman to fill out the army after that. And then I'll have 20 units. All right. Um, do I want to build anything else? I don't have... I have money, but not a whole lot. To, oh, actually, holy crap. I can make a lot of agricultural buildings as these guys. I'm used yeah. to only being able to build, like, two. Yeah. Usually, uh, um, the farms will be the most necessary. I think I haven't actually uh, built any of the other ones. Oh, no, the canals are good uh, when you want uh, extra food because they don't have any um, any um, unhappiness or food problems uh, whatsoever. Right. So they're, they're always good. And the Bardic Circle is for research. That's your... It replaces, like, the, the Macedonian or... The Hellenistic or the Roman um, shrines for research stuff, you know. Right. Okay. I think I'll go for the uh, the field in this case because it gives me the most food. I like to get lots of food early on. Yeah. Um, and I, this is probably not going to be my main recruiting place anyway, so I will not make the horse pens here. I'll make that somewhere yeah. else. Uh, good recruitment places are actually around um, leather or iron, and that makes uh, this province. Britannia, the best at it. All right. Because well, they case, have both. They have both. That might be a goal for me. Yeah. Pretty close as well. So yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think that's gonna be it for me this turn. Cool. I'm gonna capture it. Increased in rank with that guy. That's fine. I can capture it in auto resolve now. Yeah. Good. Aggressive stance. Yeah. Occupy. Good. Oh, they have another army right there. Two armies, actually. Oh yeah, one down there as well. Uh, I can't move my army, but hopefully he'll actually come against me. I'm actually losing a little bit of food, and that will be troublesome. Indeed. Yeah, that will cause me a few troubles. Uh, yeah, should definitely go immediately for the farms in terms of research. I'll probably need to take away the the tax from it just so it doesn't cost me any food. Yeah, you know of it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That that was one thing that I actually didn't didn't know until I saw someone uh, play uh, let's play it and say right. that you can take away that. Okay, nice sabotage here on the sons of Brenners. Quite good. Your spy is rocking. Yeah, quite good. And he, he, his ability, you know, every character starts with a, a, a special ability that it's uh, it's completely different from everyone. Yeah. And its ability is construction costs, wealth from the industry. It's good for the province that he's in, actually. Indeed. So quite good. Mine, uh, mine has uh, manipulation, coerce, and assassination concealed plate, and plus five percent chance of wounding enemy agents in self defense. Oh. Not bad. Not bad at all. I also have the the, the traditions now. Next roll horde. Unit recruitment cost, weapon damage. Yeah, why not? That seems like good. And I'm gonna have a warrior as the captain. Ready for battle. Okay, recruit another spear levy, I believe, or another Germanic youth. Yeah, that's gonna be it. And I can recruit a few spear levies. Yeah, they're quite cheap, actually. My units, all of them. 80, 50, 70. It's not a lot in terms of uh, building that up. Indeed. Yeah. Just let me check for um, trade a little bit. Sure. Uh, the good tone is I could trade, but I actually didn't want to. The Marcomani are actually quite uh, quite fond of me, I've called for good so I can so trade agreement with them. No, they don't want that. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't dislike me either, but they also didn't want to trade. Right. Oh, they have letter over there actually. Yeah, I actually wait for them to to begin those trade agreements usually. So long as they're friendly, they I think it's actually uh, fine. You know. Yeah. So I'm counting on them trying to attack me now. 
Oh, they actually retreated. That is a shame. Uh, you're gonna plan to attack the Atrebartis, right? Uh, they are they are next to you. Well, I'm gonna cancel because he's actually he's actually 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 um, asked me for a, a non-aggression pact and he wants money for it. And I I don't mind. Ah, right. He's way too far away to to cause. I'm problems. Uh, I'm not gonna attack them just yet because apparently they're actually my allies or my. Oh. Uh, I guess maybe they're in uh, that barbaric agreement thing. Oh, but these guys want to trade with you now? No, the Markomani want a non-aggression pact, but they will pay me. Which oh, I that like. sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Pretty good deal. Yeah. So long as they oh. keep paying. Wow. And these guys want the other way around. They want the non-aggression pact and they want me to pay them. Wow. And they're well, the guys I'm... that you want to attack. Yeah, they are. So uh, I don't think so. Thank you. Okay. We have to go and pass on that. Good. All right. So I uh, encountered a bunch of factions. Uh, Quartermaster report. report. Cool. Uh, let's see. I wanted to do something, but what? Uh, let's see. I want to, for one, actually try and sabotage. Possibly. Um, what's the one that you have? Poison provisions, right? That's Is that the one you do? Yeah. Usually I always go for, for the poison. Alright, let's try that. Failed! Yes, well done. <laughs> well. Good job. <laughs> uh, right, I, I may actually attack the Vesuntio and just siege them out, although they are yeah, they're at 17 units right now. I'm not sure if that's a good idea anymore. I don't think so, actually. No, I think I'll wait it out. It's gonna fill up this army. Um, yeah, there's something I wanted to do, but I completely forgot about it. Buildings, uh, check it out. Yeah, now I've got nothing building-wise that I can do. Um. Oh right, no, hold on. This one. wait. God, what was it? Oh yeah, right. My agents. Uh, one of them has. A trait which gives them plus one cunning, but that's on my champion. I don't want it to be on my champion. I want it to be on my spy, and I can give him the plus one to forty one instead. Mm -hmm. I'm just I have to checking. wait until. I'm actually checking my buildings because I'm not sure which one gives me which units. Right. I also am not entirely sure, but I can't make any buildings for a while yet anyway. Yeah, I just want some horsemen and some heavy infantry. In the in the beginning, yeah. So I'm checking out the Iron Smith. The Iron because for the Arverni, the Iron Smith is actually one of the most important ones. It gives you right. Oath Sworn. Yeah, the Oath Sworn. They are ridiculous. Yeah, and I still believe it. Fifty turns into my Arverni campaign, and I still don't have it. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> now, just because I went into full civil tech, you know. Yeah, and it doesn't pay off as a barbarians uh, tribes as much as it pays off with Rome or uh, Hellenistic factions. Right. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to end it here, or do you want to do one more turn? The episode. I think I can do one more turn easily, right. just because I would make a small ambush. I believe. All right. Sounds good to me. Oh, enemy wounded, and I have got to defeat the sons of Brenners in battle. Which is actually what I actually wanted. Oh yeah, they're right there. Yeah, got good. Uh, what can I recruit now? I do have some Germanic slingers, which is which is nice. Indeed. Like... Yeah. The uh, bronze workshop? No, it's the blacksmith that I want. So I'm gonna save that up. I could build this guy up, but I would have no food. Yeah, Kasurjis is actually quite bad as an initial province. For the boy, I mean. They, they have nothing, they, they need to grow. Yeah. So... I'm gonna sabotage, sabotage the map. Yeah, he's getting some more sabotage actions. It's probably gonna be an auto-resolve even though. But I yeah. just wanna... Yeah, completely yellow line. <laughs> there. And that gave me money. Good. Nice. And the level up. Mm -hmm. 
I can still uh, support Kasurgis, I think. Yeah. I level up stuff. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. So, yeah, we can end it up uh, right now if you if you want. Uh, yeah, if it's if you save the game, will that work? Because I can't save from uh, from your turn, basically. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm gonna save it. Oh, actually, it uh, it helps out because it says this is Mark Tuggy and Susan Violin. That, that's that jazz. So I'll put LP one. Uh, I can't add anything because of our names. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Well, what I usually do is I um, uh, I like to, uh, well, you basically you enter now and then I save it uh, on my turn because on because uh, I host the game and then I can just reload from the host save file basically. Yeah, yeah. I don't know Never if that less. makes a difference. Yeah, I'll just save it up. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. Did, it, did it appear on your screen? Uh, it did not, actually. Oh. Well, doesn't matter. I, I did. I did save up. Okay. So, this is just, by the way, guys, this is just because of all, all the troubles that we might have on the Yeah, all of the desyncing. Yeah. yeah. So, we're going to check that out even after this episode. Indeed. So, yep, I'm... All good to go. Signing out. All right. Well, yeah. Thank, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of our club let's play so far, and we shall see you next time. Have a good day. Yeah. Cheers, guys.